rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. And we're back with more Keeper RL. Out the 18. And what is it we'll do? We're gonna look at this legendary beast that I don't remember getting. Yeth Horo? Will my succubus give birth to this little guy? How cute. How cute. Oh man. So I did learn something about the goblins. Apparently, goblins born of succubus, or succubi if you prefer, have a higher, or have a, the ability to equip stuff on the regular on their own. I mean, I can force some goblins to go equip stuff, but if they're born of succubi, they're like battle-hardened goblins. We said, I want to make some space for some new people on this team, and, well, the only people who really suck are these two goblins. So, let us travel onward to go see what's going on in the land of bandits. I set myself up poorly for this. edit that out later and over the bridge we go where are the bandits I don't know they're up there and they will die actually they probably won't they'll probably survive but we'll know where they are and they'll thin our numbers for us so we don't have to we don't have to do the grim and dirty job of killing off our own people because they can kill off our own people. No. That's right. Walk to your death. And now we're at 32 of 33, which should give us a little bit of uh, potential. How did I get a legendary beast in the first place? It had to have been from Succubus Birthing, because I don't have a beast layer at all. What did I, what I get? Succubus gives birth to a dire spawn. Yes. Oh, so good. So good, dire spawn. What do you want to do? You are never going to be in any of those things. You're not going to eat. You're not going to sleep. In fact, you don't have activities. You don't need to eat. And you already are not eating. You don't need to sleep either. I didn't see sleep. Yeah, I was just being blind. Sleeping is totally on your list of activities. We're cutting that crap out. There is no rest for the wicked. Now we could go beat up some humans and take some money. Or we could go beat up some bandits and take the money. I do think at this point, our forces could probably stand up to Zim Freaks. I do worry about death, but I'm also not prepared to just be extremely lame and do nothing forever. Um, I do need to increase my storage area, I suppose. Uh, we'll just create a special storage area back here. It'll store just equipment. Yeah, speed up. Ain't no reason we need to be going at snail speed. Put some equipment back there, make it all more manageable for everybody and everything. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. Let's be logical about this for a second. Remove this. And remove this. Now, this is where we are going to have our resources. No, no, no. Almost made the mistake again. No, no. Dark. Remove this. Down here is where we're going to have our equipment, because this is where all our shops are, so we want them to be able to dump it off real easy up there. And then up here, we're going to put our resources, because we very rarely use them anymore. Might as well just put them out of the way. Out of the way over there. Go. Give my little imps something to do. All four of them. Let's up that number to at least ten. We want all of our imp tasks to be handled quickly, but we don't want to put so many out that we get lag. Lag is bad. 
That's also why we want to take care of not letting too many things stack up in one pile. Because having large lists that creatures need to go through will create lag. The more you know. Programming. Uh, succubus makes love to an ogre, love to an ogre. Somebody died. An orc shaman joins the forces. Who? How? Didn't I have four harpies? Did one of my harpies die? Show message history. Alright, all the way down here. And he murders somebody. A doppelganger turns into... A doppelganger absorbs a harpy. Okay. So it didn't die. It got absorbed into the doppelganger. I can live with that. If my doppelganger wants to become super powerful like that, he can. Ah. Uh, I do think that every once in a while it's good to just go crush some forces. I worry about Zimfrix, but again, not enough to pussyfoot around the fact that we need to get this done. And if we have Zimfrix attacking us, his people will probably be attacking us with money in their pockets. And that is a good source of money. So, who wants to die? I have a strength of 50, or I have an attack of 52, and a defense of 51. Yours pale in comparison. Who wants some? Why are there only four of you here? Don't, don't, didn't you guys think that it might be a bad idea to travel in such small numbers? In such small numbers? Here. I know I'm an or I'm an ogre, but, uh, I'll just shoot you in the leg. So that I can crush you over here. I thought these guys were supposed to have money. What happened? Is the money somewhere else? Do they got, like, the secret stash up here? No? Well, that was, uh, unfortunate. But. Now we've pissed off Zimfrix enough to make him come attack us. Oh, no, but we got the humans over here. Ooh. Yeah? You want some of this? Back up. Alright, we are going to control this ogre to make it back to... Well, the best place that he can get to, on the other side of some traps. And we'll see how quick those warriors are to try to catch us. Oh, they're pretty far back. That kind of silly. My ogre's supposed to be pretty darn slow. We're being attacked. They're here! They're here! Now I shall wait here. And do the dance of the back and forth until they show up. Actually, that sounds... You know, here they are. How about that? I was kind of curious about how my traps were doing and stopping them. But it doesn't seem like that much. The Hall of Arrows... However, super effective. Uh, how do my traps do? I don't see one there. Must have gone off, maybe? That one didn't seem to get set off. And they just followed me through this crevice, which I knew they would. I wish there was something I could do to fill up that crevice and force them through this. Ah, well. Is there at least money in this pile somewhere? Little bit of money, little bit of cash, little bit of gold. There's a little more down here. Yeah, a little bit more money. Hey man, I killed the guys. I want to go put the money in. I want to go put the money in the storage room. I never get to see it. I'm just an ogre. Boom. Alright, and with that, we only have 221. Boo. 
And somebody else died? Who died? I got absorbed. I'm missing a goblin. Ooh, how did one of my higher level a goblin is killed by a doppelganger? Well, that's okay. At least he killed one of the strong ones to add to his strength. It's kind of lame, I guess. Uh, didn't add to his level. So he killed somebody strong without reason. It's okay. We got another goblin to join the forces. Yay. Uh, no, we don't. You, unfortunately, came on a bad day. Where the next goblin to join my forces is going to be the goblin that I use to go explore Zimfrix's lair and try to get a lay of the land. Now, I specifically chose this person's lair because they put a lot of care into it. You probably can read all about it in the comments below a lot of these videos. But there's a lot of detail put into this lair, and it should be fun exploring cosmetically as well as challenging because it's not just built to be built like mine is this one is built to be pretty to tell a story to hi ogre you're an ogre you got nothing on you though ogre so you're a punk of an ogre hey you wanna follow me I don't give a shit, I'm a goblin. I'm just here to scout out the area and disarm some traps if there are any. Traps can't get me, I'm a goblin. Ogres can get me. I didn't even come wielding anything. Let's see if we can bust down a door and see what's in here. So there's like little stuff like the one room, one tile dorm right there. I wonder what that's about. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Oh. Werewolf just comes out and just messes me up with a couple of potions. That's okay. Oh, yeah, what were the potions? Potion of blindness hit me in the head and I died. I guess it wasn't a couple, it was just one. Alright, let's see. Succubus gives birth to a dire spawn. Now we got two dire spawns. Much better than a goblin. Much better than a goblin. You, unfortunately, now have the task to go in and oop, drop all that and try to defend your brother's honor. Because we're done with you here. We've produced enough equipment. We have all that we need. You're not needed here anymore. So we're going to go use you to scout out the area. We're going to give you some gloves that don't actually add to your defense. I mean, they probably add like a, a decimal amount. Like the experience and morale is a decimal. And it just doesn't have the defense displayed in that. But I imagine plus zero is a lie. Uh, we got enough of these rings that I can give you some of those. Yeah. Take that. And what else? What are we missing? We're missing a helmet for you. Where can I find me a helmet? Why aren't there any helmets? We're under attack by Ziffrin. Wow, well, you're going to have to hold your horses on that. Because it's Oak time. Ogre time. Yeah, we're under attack by the forces of Zimfrix. I'm not surprised. I'd be more surprised if we weren't. And I will simply do the dance of the back and forth here until I either hear banging or that door just pops open. Uh, actually, I don't think that my sight distance is far enough. That could be tricky. I might want to just wait back here. Yeah. Would... Would his sight distance be any better as a vampire? I don't know. 
I don't know. I should put some eyeballs in this area. Do we note it? Uh, where is my vampire? Control. How's your sight distance in this situation? Much better. You got arrows too. Why don't you take the front on this assault? You even got a potion of invisibility. You could bail out if you'd want to try. Sounds excellent. Oh man, you don't even need the potion. You can cast invisibility yourself. How cool are you, Vampy? Alright, come on. Where, oh where, are these armed forces from Zimfrix? Come on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Hello. Arrows, 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 arrows. Hallway of arrows. Oh, man. You're going to try to hit me with a hallway of arrows? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. What do you think you're doing? All these shots from your arrows are harmless. Oh yeah, that's how you feel about it? Force bolt. Oh man, I thought that went further back than it did, I guess. Alright, arrow. 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 Oh yeah, I got somebody in that. The arrow misses Managle misses the werewolf and hits the dire spawn and turns him into a wisp of smoke. That is a lot of enemies. Luckily I got this wonderful haul of arrows and plenty of dudes to shoot shit down it. Although this is uh, becoming a bit of an issue. I will become invisible. And shoot, shoot, cut. Ooh, he lost an arm. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's mighty unfortunate. Because you do need two arms to wield a bow. I thought he'd be much safer and visible. He was not. I should have used my stun. I was a fool. And he paid for my foolishness. Sorry, vampire. You're probably now doppelganger uh, food. But that's okay. We're going to get Orky in here. And I can't see because my stupid sight distance with this orc is whole with this ogre is horrendous what the hell throw throw and shoot I mean if we're not getting hit it'll be okay And hopefully some of these arrows are at least being relatively effective. Oop, I have been blinded. That is no good. We're going to bail out of the room for a moment. And continue on. Why do you have double poison resistance? That's redundant. 